today we're going to be looking at some Thunderbirds games. And there's a, a game from the 1960s when Thunderbirds came out. And then there's one that was released a few years ago um, because Thunderbirds keeps on going. Um, so let's have a look at the 60s one first. Okay, so this one's in pretty good condition. Um, so we've got a Thunderbirds game, a unique type of game, a unique type of team game. It's funny these games are, I think the other one is a cooperative board, a uh, cooperative card game. Um, so this is uh, copyright 1966 by John Waddington, makers of Monopoly. Because that was a big thing back then. So you've got lots of lovely artwork. You've got head of International Rescue, Jeff Tracy. Uh, Scott Tracy, Thunderbird 1. Virgil, Thunderbird 2. Alan, Thunderbird 3. Gordon, with his lip. Uh, Thunderbird 4. And then you've got John, Space Monitor. Not the greatest likeness of John there. Poor John. Um, and then the Hood, the villain. And then based on Jerry Anderson's TV series Thunderbirds, filmed in Super Mario Nation 1965. So that's the copyright of Thunderbirds. And then on the side, quite plain. It's basically just says team game. So let's open up and have a look. Okay, so what do you get? for your Thunderbirds money. Well, you get a board which shows various countries with a grid system. So, quite nice, quite a big board. Um, you get a message from Tref Jeff Tracy, signed by Jeff himself. You must defeat the evil schemes of the hood. Uh, it just basically tells you what the, the sort of the basic aims of the game are. Um, you get a little storage area for all your bits, a dice, um, and a set of instructions. Rules for playing the game of Thunderbirds. It is quite a complicated uh, little sort of uh, game, this one. So you get quite a bit of instructions. Nice illustration of Thunderbird 4. Direction finder, red markers. So all your instructions on how to play the game. The bird one there, and then how to win. Uh, you get a direction finder. This is almost always broken, it's a very thin pin that holds it on. So, if you're gonna buy one of these games from like a toy fair or something, just have a look, make sure that's not broken off. Almost every other version of this game I've ever seen has got it broken off. I got a couple in the loft, and they've got broken ones. You get nine little red pyramids uh, and they're like emergency markers so make sure you got nine of them you get a little figure of the hood which to be honest they could use for any game it could be anyone you get uh, eight photographs of the hood although some of them are not so I suppose that's the hood in the corner so he's you know, he's clocking Big Ben clocking Big Ben no, never mind uh, it's in New York He's going around the corner with his heel emitting something. Uh, he's on a BBC test card. He's hanging around doorways, looking a bit evil. There's his uh, passing out of a military academy. There's nothing on the back of these. You get him sort of uh, artistic looking sideways. And then you get his passport photo. Where they just wouldn't let him into certain countries because he looked blatantly evil uh, and then also you get four Thunderbirds craft these are stylized more than accurate so you get Thunderbird 1 in blue Thunderbird 2 in green which is yeah it does the job Thunderbird 3 looking a bit squat in red and then the world's squattest weirdest Thunderbird 4 that's so weird in uh, in yellow so make sure you got all these bits if you're gonna want to buy this game. Um, I have tried playing it a couple of times. It's very complicated. Um, much more complicated than the Captain Scarlet game that came out roughly around the same time. Um, but it's, it's, it's worth a laugh. Oh, it's a nice time to be fine. Um, and it, it's not that expensive to get. It's hard to find decent quality, you know, decent condition one. Normally they like say these are almost always broken or missing. These are missing. That's almost always broken, um, so make sure everything's in there before you get it. 
Um, but you can still pick these up for like 20, 30 quid for a, a decent condition one. This is the, I've had, like I say, I've had about three or four and this is the best condition ones and I've sort of pieced it together from other games. Um, so it's a complete full set, so I'm happy with that one. Let's look at what a modern Thunderbirds game looks like. Maggie's gone to sleep. Bless her, she had a hard day watching me make videos. Uh, so this is the 50th anniversary cooperative board game, so you can pretty much work out that would have been 2016. So it's a few years old now, I think you can still get it. So great artwork on the front, Thunderbird 2 bursting out. The game of international rescue for one to four players, designed by Matt Leacock. Because yeah, this is this can be played as a uh, a solo game, which is great. Modifius have done some good games recently. So on the side, you got Thunderbird three, Thunderbird five, Thunderbird three and five on the other side. Let's have a look at the back of the box. So it just tells you what you get. Um, so very very similar contents to the other game. Um, Fire Flash, the hypersonic airliner, has a bomb in landing gear. Yep, we know it does. So you get a board, international rescue stuff, cards, markers. Um, let's have a look, open it up, see what you get. Okay, so you get a massive, quite heavy duty board with various, I mean, different planets, and then a world map. Tracy Island with a lovely cutaway. Remember them in uh, TV21? Uh, like all these boards now, it folds out. <laughs> you get an instruction novel. So yeah, it's a really, feels a complicated game. So I've not played it, even though it's a, uh, a solo one. I should really play it. Although, to be honest, I uh, bought this when it was new. I literally just opened it, took cellophane off it. It went up in the attic and I forgot about it. Um, forgot I had it. Um, so it's got full instructions. Telling you all about the game, how to play it. So very lavish, very nice and glossy. It's almost a magazine. Look how thick it is in its own right. Um, so you get the instructions. You get a sheet of card counters. So you've got various different um, pod vehicles, which can fit into the model of Thunderbird 2 you get. Your international rescue badge, various different uh, counters that presumably mean something, some explosions, uh, double sided, nice photo on each one. You also get for some reason a bag of bags, I'm presuming to put all the bits in um, rather nicely. You get a uh, sheet of stickers for you to put on your Thunderbirds models, which are the, I think, the high point of this game. So you get Thunderbird 1, Thunderbird 2, Thunderbird 3. Thunderbird 4, you get a Thunderbird 5 this time. You also get a Fab 1 and a Hood. So let's have a look at these in turn. So they come with a pilot that does unplug. The pilot's really nice. Good likeness. Probably should cast them and paint them. Um, so you get Thunderbird 1. Again, really good detail. Reminds me of the old um, Sugar Smacks free vehicles. And then you've got Thunderbird 2 with Virgil. Because it's a cooperative game, you can put other pilots in it, and then you, the top comes off the pod. You can put your um, equipment card in there. Again, really nice little model. Thunderbird 3, cracking one that, with Alan. Tiny, tiny Thunderbird 4 with Gordon. It's about the size of the old dinky one, you remember that? Thunderbird 5 with John. Finally gets a, a vehicle. He's always forgotten any. Bless him. Fab 1. Lady P. No Parker. You thought they'd have done Parker, wouldn't you? Yeah, the cracking little Fab 1. And you also get slightly better detailed hood figure. I think they did um, did a version of this game, like a luxury one, that came with metal ones, I want to say. It was madly expensive. I think I'm right. I might be wrong. I might be thinking of something completely different. Uh, you get a rather nice natty 
International Rescue Card. You can put your name on if you want to, because you've been a member of International Rescue. And then you get two decks of cards. Let me let me move the box and we'll have a look at the cards. It's pretty hard to do this uh, one-handed, unfortunately. Actually, let's put this up in the stand. It will make it easier. There we go. Okay, so you get a deck of cards showing all the characters. So you got. Lady P, good old Scott, always my favourite Scott was, Virgil, Alan, Gordon, John, and then these are the adventures I think, so you can, presumably these are what you need to do. Uh, it seems to be based on episodes, you've got Trapped in the Sky, Pit of Peril, that was a good one. It's where the, um, oh, what's it called, Sidewinder fell down a pit. That was super hot for some reason. City of Fire, City on Fire, Sun Probe, that was a good one with um, Brayman. Oh, still love that. I said that on a little record. Uh, Mighty Atom, why am I thinking that's a mouse one? Uh, End of the Road, Crash Dive, so lots and lots of uh, episode titles and then you get to the end and there's just non-episode <laughs> non ones. They call him Mr X. Shelter at Gunlun. Sounds rude. Aswan Rising. That's is that I think the Aswad. Do you remember that? Uh yeah, so you've got different missions and you've got some hood cards. Because hood's being a bounder as normal. And then you've got that's where my board falls over and kills everything. And you've got these scheme cards. Um yeah so it goes up there so these are some sort of I don't know what they do expose the hoods plot so this must be how you uh, how you solve the mystery and what you need so presumably you're gonna to have to go around the board collecting what you need sort of game should have read the instructions shouldn't I really who's got time for that bonus tokens <coughs> pardon me fab these are all no, so I don't know what the fab cards are. Let's have a look. Holiday in Bonga Bonga. That's got to be racist, isn't it? Bonga Bonga, is that in Australia? Any uh, any Australians? Wade, if you're listening. Uh, where's Bonga Bonga? Is it a place? Is it racist? Um, so these are different rescues. Ah, oh, the hover jets. i got some little toy hover jets somewhere. Brayman. There he is. Let. I love Brayman. Always a sucker for robots when I was a kid. Uh, and then you've got events. Icelandic volcano eruption. Ruined everyone's holidays that year, didn't it? Um, Hood's hypnotic eyes. Missile strike. Attack of the Zombites. Zombites. Weren't they in... They were in the Give a Show Doctor Who project of the Zombites. Yeah, so lots of lovely cards. So this one's obviously much more detailed than the... Uh, the 60s one. I mean, it should have been. It was. I think it was a mad price when I paid for it. It was like 40 quid or something. It's probably more than that now. But you do get a lot of uh, a lot of stuff for your money. Um, I might give it a go. I'll give it a play and then I'll do another video on how it played. That's where I got bored when the cat came and sat on the board um, and rescued me. But yeah, so that's uh, two Thunderbirds games. Uh, I'm not. I'm not aware that there was any others in the re 80s revival. I don't remember any cheap board games coming out if you can think of any others let me know was there an american only board game don't know um but if you want to see more anderson board games i've got quite a few captain scarlet terror hawks uh i think it's terrible no space precinct i'm thinking of that's quite a nice game uh, but yeah if you want to see them let me know and i'll uh, do a little review on them but otherwise thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you can and i'll see you again next time thanks then bye